Greetings fellow victims of the blight, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Norland, Episode 8, Rutabaga Fever. My beloved friend Kleb, I know that times are tough and every warrior counts. This makes the help you've provided even more valuable, thank you. And if you ever need assistance, I will respond to your first request. So the Dusk King and the Spark King were having a disagreement and I supported the Dusk King. So the Spark King's gonna like me a lot less, but uh, I'm not allied with them, I'm not allied with the Dust King. So the Dust King uh, was thankful for uh, supporting them in the, their argument. Uh, I need a little bit more wood in order to build the new fields, and I think the best thing I can do is actually uh, possibly move my, my woodcutters out a little bit. So I'm going to move a woodcutter here. And then upgrade it. And then move this woodcutter maybe here and upgrade it. I'm going to leave the roads, uh, in, but I'll also create a, another road like this. Been an expensive day. <laughs> the amount of gold I used today to invest in my army and all that. I see. But we stand to make money back. If I'm the one to clear these camps, both of them, that's 250 gold that we'll get from just clearing the camps. And then there's also all the gold uh, from selling the prisoners. Uh, and then we also made 226 gold selling Rutabaga and Moonshine. So, spent a whole lot, but I, you know wasn't a, a total net negative. I am super surprised this temple's still not built yet. They only need eight wood. So I'm going to hit build first. Uh, tell my builders, please, go do that. I also have a lot of uh, unemployed peasants, and a lot of unemployment will drive up um, uh, crime. But five of those unemployed peasants are Kaiden Nectar addicts. So Kleb just needs to go clap some Kaiden. So as soon is he up? Yeah, he's already awake. All right, let's start clapping the Kaiden. You, you, you. I'm queuing them all up. Summary executions. You and you. Five Kaiden getting clapped. Club clapped. I like how there's no audience. He's just like, well, it's going to be a long day of murder. Averin has discovered a strong desire within themselves to eat meat. That's easy enough to fulfill. And we have a new battle. So this is the bandit battle. So all of my uh, fighters here are all meleeers. So let's just bum rush. And they're pretty unarmored, so I think they're going to get smoked. Yes. All right, before you return home, attack the next one, too. It's, it's just adjacent. It's so convenient. I'm not going to bother with, like, this one next to Stardale. In fact, I hope those bandits uh, screw over Stardale, because Stardale is kind of like a rival of mine. All right, one of... Okay, yeah, they, they should be fine in this fight, too. Terror amongst the peasants? Yeah, it's fine. They're just... They're just... Xenophobic drug addicts. It's no problem. Oh, there's seven of them. Oh, okay. They have... They don't have any bowmen? 
Man, this would have been the fight to bring bows. Because we could have just shot them from a distance, but oh well. I don't think anyone died. Nope, no one died. So definitely some injuries. But that's going to be a lot of money and a lot of prisoners. So this party here has... 10 prisoners. <laughs> uh, enchantment has a lord ready to leave, as does Treewood, but I don't really care. And then Sparksville has unsuccessfully attacked the army of Windpeak. So Windpeak defended against them. That's good. Windpeak and Sparksville are really at odds with one another. But they haven't asked for uh, assistance or anything like that. So that's good. Dust Valley is also attacking Sparksville. So both Windpeak and Dust Valley is uh, going against Sparksville. And Sparksville is getting the raw end of it. They're getting real beat up from both. Which I like. Because they're my allies and they're weakening an enemy. So, cool. Works for me. Daily stats. Uh, we're going to get a bunch of Kaiden migrants. And terror amongst the peasants. But yeah, that's unavoidable because of the... Uh, because of the current uh, yellow fanatics going on. Okay, training ground was learned by Colin. Uh, so let's learn keeping prisoners with Colin. It's the only other gray book that Colin does not yet know. And I'm going to hold off on building the trade ground because I, I want the farm fields first. I'm reducing the amount of people that work at the scaffold so that they can work in the farm fields instead. Um, up to two. The uh, level three lumber mills are now done. So they are, um, uh, uh, the amount of wood that we need is going to go back up, which is good. And we also have a second, um, uh, a second temple to accommodate our entire population. I kind of wish you could just improve the temple rather than have to have like a second one. Because really big cities require, like, a bunch of temples, and it starts to look pretty weird. Alright, nine migrants arrived. Let's just, uh... Start queuing up the summary executions. can't click the okay there we go it's so hard to click the ones that are like hiding quit hiding behind them there we go you don't get to survive that way you're just delaying your death oh one's just a straight up he arrived as a bandit <laughs> guilt-free slaying there if you ever ask me We have enough for a hop field. Imagine being the like Kaiden bandit here, watching all the other Kaiden that entered the town get just like their heads lopped off. Why aren't you running for your life? I don't know, but... I, uh, you know, it's fun. Hey, Phantomus, thank you for the gifted subs! There, and all the Kaiden are dead. Very, very, very dead. And strangely enough, the, uh, the average mood in our colony is 81. 
People are thrilled I am summary executing the Kaiden. Like, they have no problem with it at all. They, they are just, uh, they're just over the moon. Plus 70 moon from choppy 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 chop. Yeah, they love it. They love it. I'm a successful king. Everyone's in bliss watching all the Kaiden lose their heads. Uh, I should work on Ivarin's desire to eat meat. Um, no pun intended given what's going on over there right now. Uh, so let's not sell meat for a bit. And, uh oh we have rutabaga fever. Okay, um, that's not good. So rutabaga fever uh, makes people that eat rutabaga sick, and I definitely do not have the infrastructure to start selling um, flour instead of rutabaga. So that's going to hit us pretty hard. I'm very much just, yeah, that's going to be rough. The squad just returned with all the prisoners. How much mood do they need to become loyalists? Uh, well, we're working on it. How many loyalists do we have so far? Three? There's other ways to make loyalists. Um, feeding them better, uh, giving them, offering them better drinks, or giving them peasant homes are, uh, are huge components to become, uh, to influence loyalism. We just don't, you know, I don't have the resources to do that right now. Let's take a look at the world map. So there isn't any bandits any close by. That's good. No, everything looks pretty stable out there. Sparksville is um, completely... Uh, they don't have any army at all. They are uh, com completely uh, unable to defend itself. Um, but they are a ally of Great Mist, so if I wanted to mess with Sparksville, which I don't, I have enough going on at home right now that I, I definitely don't have the bandwidth to do that. I would, if, if you, but just to explain how you would do that, what you would want to do is, um, is talk to Sparksville and go, hey, ultimatum on neutrality, where you give them ultimatum to break their alliance with their, uh, alliance head, um, Dissolving the alliance, uh, or threatening to dissolve the alliance, and then, you know, eventually dissolving it. But again, I have got so much going on at home right now that, yeah, I'm not going to be doing that. How long is a day? A day is 24 hours? Uh, there's a bit of a, there's a clock down here. So it's 7 in the morning right now. I didn't mean to give you, like, a flippant answer. Just, uh, you probably just didn't see the time, because it's, I don't know why it's so dim. I don't know why. I wish there was a way to make it not, like, completely dim. But there's no setting for that. So the top church does not allow prisoners. The bottom church does. So you can see all the bloody prisoners praying in the church. Which is fine, because, you know, they can pray for their salvation. It won't matter. They're about to get sold into, uh... Hmm. I'll call it slavery? I don't, I'm not really sure where they go. So if Ivarin has the desire to eat meat, uh, one of the things I could do is I'm going to give my army a little bit more time to rest before going to actively hunt um, flesh wolves. And also I just got warned that I ran out of medical salve, uh, which is needed to cure infected wounds. So let's see how many I need to buy. Oh. Uh, that warrior, I'm going to let go. He's got an eye loss. I think all the infected wounds are actually been treated now. But I should stockpile next time the trade caravan comes by anyway. Ivarin, if you could finish correct cutting, that would be amazing. We, uh, we have huge need for wood. And correct cutting is going to help a lot. Uh, there is new forest bandits out there. And then Dust Valley wants someone assassinated. So Dust Valley wants Stardale's leader assassinated. 
Well, I'm not gonna be able to do that anyway. And they have a lord ready to leave, but I don't want to snipe their lord because that would really piss them off and I don't want to do that. Uh, and the new dust bandits are where? Uh, at Sparksville. I could clear out the Sparksville dust bandits, but I don't really want to because it's going to destabilize Sparksville anyway. So I'm gonna leave them. I'm gonna leave them be. Astronaut! Uh, thank you for the, uh, the resub. Yeah, if you're watching on a- oh, there we go! Correct cutting just got researched, and that's gonna help out my, um, my wood, uh, gain a lot. So let's see what is next to be learned by our ever-brilliant Ava Red. She... does not... I'm gonna have her start learning Fertilize correctly, instead of Kleb. Because Kleb's doing it awfully slow. And I'm gonna have Kleb not learn anything. Uh, because he is so busy with all of the work inspections, it's best if I free him up to do that. And maybe what I'll try to do is have him spend time with um, Averen to build up a... Uh... They still don't have a romantic relationship, it's mostly just working and... Uh, you know, they're, fr they're, they're kind of friends with benefits. So, for them to build up their relationship even better would be great. They're getting there. They're 52-41. Oh, and Wind King's here to, to visit. Oh, who is Avina? Roy, who are you, uh... It's one of my prisoners? Oh. Uh... Yeah, I kind of wish I didn't see that. Mr. Aw. Uh, lowered myself to have sex with a peasant. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Can't hide the truth. Wow, back road runner, you have teaching 14? What the hell? How are you so smart? You, uh, just... So, for reference, their whole lifelong goal as a personal goal is to get teaching 15. He's already 14 out of 15. You're a small child who's like a Harvard professor. <laughs> what the hell? Poor Colin over here has the lifelong goal of Management 5, and he's like, or Management 15, he's like, Management 5, you are, uh... Yeah. You're... Steve Carell level of office management. You're, you're barely able not to step on a, a waffle grill level of capability there. Alma, who are you? Daughter of the Wind King. Oh, okay. All right. Well, they they're they're on a family trip, I guess. Daily statistics: terror and hunger. Oh, do we have more Kaiden? No, no, I killed them all. Good. And a little bit of homelessness. So the homelessness will be solved as soon as I have a little bit of wooden stockpile, which I currently don't. Um, what to build next? Rye, field, or dorm? I'll have you guys pick. Just a, a quick little poll. I'll uh, give you one minute. So a rye field would allow us to start building up our stocks of flour so that the rutabaga fever that is happening right now would hit us a, a little bit less. And a dormitory would, um, because we have some homelessness, a dormitory would solve the, dor the homelessness problem. Also, we have some bandits that I need to, uh, to deal with. And where is my, where is my, uh, holy caravan? Because, my god, having ten prisoners is kind of a burden. Plus, I, I, I'm not even housing them. Alright, hunt for bandits. If you're a bandito, I will find you and deal with you. Uh, oh, here are the new Kaiden. Execute. Execute. 
Execute. Execute. Found the bandits. They wandered in, all hopped up on uh, nectar and ready to get their heads lost. So, uh, Colin just learned how to keep prisoners. Um, I don't necessarily need him to learn a new book, so I'm not going to issue him the order to learn a new book. Uh, basically, I need to buy new books. All right, it looks like uh, you guys want a rye field. So let's do that. World summary. Um, yep, no, that's the old world summary. Sorry, forgot to miss, uh, clear that. I still haven't done the desire to eat meat, so uh, let's go do work on that. So, inverted sheep, rally up your warriors. Create an army. This is the feed the queen army. It's a little excess excessive, the amount of troops that I'm rallying to feed the, uh, the queen meat. But, uh... We are going to go hunt the flesh wolves that exist on our map tile so that she can eat meat. There's one wolf. Oh, there's another one. And the, the corpses will be automatically collected by, like, a peasant and butchered for meat. And I have the, um... I have the, um the market not sell meat, so it's going to be reserved for royals only. Unfortunately, we, like, broke our maces and stuff, but all right, there we go. The great meat hunt is done. Foreign trade report. Oh, we didn't actually sell our, um, moonshine. I think it was in process. Economic report, we made money. Nice. We're, we're pretty prosperous, I gotta say. Even though we're not, like, manufacturing complex goods. Uh, I did deal with all the chitin. Good, good, good. And, uh, yeah, I would say, generally speaking, things are pretty stable. Despite the fact that we're in, like, a, a yellow uh, fanatics uh, crisis. You know, I think what I'm going to do is have um, have my people study things even though they don't necessarily need to, and that's only to increase their intelligence. I think there's probably a bit of a benefit to just do in in gain grind, but I will, when the trade caravan comes today, be selling nine prisoners and buying books, uh, for sure. Averin should have the desire to eat meat fulfilled very soon. Kleb is seriously ill. Uh-oh. Oh, you have Rudabiga fever. And can only be cured by prayer. Well, you're going to be praying a whole lot. Nope, he's cured, I think. <laughs> the disease can be deadly, yes. There is a book that makes rutabaga fever less severe, and if possible, I want to buy that book. Desire to see a loved one. Uh, you want to see the du Dust King. Well, that's awkward, considering the Wind King is already visiting you. Uh, but alright, let's do that. Uh, improve relationship, spend time with 
Dust King. Even though Kleb is sick. It's probably not a very good idea to have him go do that, but I don't need to have him be depressed and sick at the same time. That's probably worse. And for now, I'm going to have Averin be the manager of the uh, new Rye Field. Uh, peace treaty expired. That's fine. Oh, termination of our trade agreement. For Wind Peak. Uh, no, for Starstream. Uh, well, we'll have to form that again. And then, uh, Club couldn't go out to the Dust King because I think the Dust King left his kingdom. Yeah, he's leaving to attack Deerhaven. Uh, which is a village in Sparksville, so I, I can't actually go to visit him right now. All right, the uh, so be it. Well, if that's the case, Cleb managed the new right field then. Oh, Averin refused to date. Ouch. There's some mood needing to be managed. Why are you eating rutabaga? I have literally have meat for you to eat. Why eat the poisoned fruit when you have... Oh, you know what? I don't have actually... Um, I don't have the book to eat meat. I just realized. Because you have to learn how to cook it. Uh, so, yeah, that would be why she's not eating that. Come on, Trade Caravan, please bring me the books. She is currently in depression. I'll try to cheer her up as best I can. But I need a caravan to come in soon. Alright, at least she's not depressed now. She, I'm like seriously ill and it makes her upset. But then, yet she denied a date with me? It's like... Make up your mind. No, oh, you refused to date again? You're killing me! I'm literally dying here! So mean! So mean! Uh, I have two sins. I'm going to do a visit the sick. Is she also sick? No. There we go. Can you be... Oh, okay. We'll give you some time alone. Alright, the trader's now here. So I'll be able to get rid of all my prisoners and possibly buy some books to help my relationship. So let's do that promptly. So, books. Uh, there is a cooking meat book. Oh, that just uh, increases the thought of cooking meat. Um, so, let's see. Braised rutabaga. A special recipe for braised rutabaga that prevents death from rutabaga typhoid, but does not prevent the disease itself. And then, I'm also going to get the cooking meat upgrade, too. Uh, selling some daggers, because I don't need that many. And I'm also going to buy the Peasant's Home book and the Workshop book. Oh no, maybe not the Workshop book, the Coal Furnace book. Right, I still have the torturous desire to see the Dusk King. Is he home yet? 
Nope, he's uh he's right here. I'm not really gonna be able to see him until he um stops moving. Uh we have a bunch of Kaiden um baddies that just immigrated somewhere. We're looking for the rest of them. Here's one. Poor Kleb. She's like, I'm so sick and busy. Gonna kill you all. It's like, yeah, 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 I know. Oh, is Averan also sick now? Oh, no, she's pregnant. That's why she looks green. This one is, um, Varn, so I'm going to mask or shame him instead of execute him. Alright, there's many unemployed, I know, I know. Alright, let's keep rounding them up. Let's uh, add another worker at the scaffold. That will help with unemployment. And Kleb is just so busy murdering people. I'm gonna have him, uh... Um, maybe spend a day off from this task? So that he can, um, heal and recover. Also, in terms of books being learned... I'm gonna stop. Uh, so fertilize correctly, I will have Colin learn. Coal Furnace, Kleb, and Peasant's Home, Averin. Or actually, Braised Rutabaga, I'll have uh, Colin learn. That's gonna be the really important one. Club, you should be aiming to recover now. I think he just ate. But did he just eat meat? Yeah, he ate meat. <laughs> that was like Averen's meat. <laughs> oh, the timing. Because you still have that torturous desire to eat meat. Go eat right now. There's still meat in the stockpile. Yeah, she's eating meat. All right, good. Well, at least that will make her happy. There was like one meat left in stock, and she's eaten it. So, desire fulfilled. Perfect. And now she's visiting Kleb. Backward Runner grew up and became a teenager. So Backward Runner can start learning stuff. Uh, so, for reference, Backward Runner, you are daughter... Uh, you have a teaching of a l 14. Good lord. Uh, so, and then you're pretty high intelligence too. So, we're gonna have you learn fertilize correctly. I made money. And didn't do any foreign trade. So let's do that this, uh, for today. Roy also has Rutabaga Fever. And Dust King, you are home? Good. Uh, shoot. I would like to invite him to the kingdom, but I don't want to send a messenger because that costs, um, paper. So I think it's probably best for Kleb to get over his Rutabaga fever, so that I can um, I can invite him in and uh, and uh, do that. Uh, there is a Kaiden somewhere in the kingdom. I'm curious if the Kaiden is a uh, 
nectar addict or not. If he's not, it's going to be actually pretty hard to find him. Because he's just like one of many. I don't see where he's working. So he must be one of the unemployed, I'd imagine. So the, the way I can tell that is like, underneath, for instance, the brewery, there is a V3. That means three Varn work there. So if there was a blue 1K, that would indicate that the Kaiden was working there. So I think he's unemployed. Which, um, now that everyone's at work, makes it a little bit easier to potentially find him. Because he's going to be standing around not doing anything. But I still don't see him, unless he's a priest. No, he's not a priest. Viking Pastry, thank you for the resub. I don't think he'd be a, uh, a army member either, because I haven't been hiring army members that were Kaiden. Oh, there you are. You're jobless, and you are a nectar addict, so you are executed. Thank you for tuning in to Norlin, which originally streamed live on Twitch as a marathon August 17th and August 18th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below, but please keep in mind that this episode was cut from a marathon, meaning that feedback cannot be incorporated. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. And if you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to it, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Varn. <laughs>